Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. Two months ago, I did a video in which I talked about how The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power was truly nothing more than a cash grab. And it wasn't so much a cash grab for Amazon, which is what they want it to be, but it was definitely a cash grab for the Tolkien estate because the Tolkien estate didn't have to invest all kinds of money into trying to produce a show. This was all going to be Amazon's responsibility. But Amazon was truly not interested in writing a good story. They were just interested in making money. And which is one of the reasons why, you know, they didn't care that they had hired two inexperienced, dim-witted showrunners, Patrick McKay and J.D. Payne, who were completely unqualified to do a show of this magnitude. And the two of them did not care in any way, shape, or form as to how well they followed the lore that J.R.R. Tolkien had written. And they only had legal rights to only a small portion of what Tolkien had shared about the Second Age in the appendices for the Lord of the Rings books. And that's what they base this entire series on, because they don't have access to the Silmarillion or any of the other writings. So it's really just a joke. But let's take a look at something here. Apparently, I'm not the only one who sees this as a cash grab, because the actor Bernard Hill, who had played King Theoden in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy, he sees it as a money grab, too. So I'm not alone in my opinion, and he has no interest in watching this show. Bernard Hill, who played King Theoden of Rohan in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings movie trilogy, is completely uninterested in Amazon's The Rings of Power prequel series. And no, it's not a prequel series. It is a bastardization of what Tolkien wrote about the Second Age. In an interview with Metro, Hill was asked if he'd ever watched Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, which premiered on Amazon Prime Video in September. The actor was immediately dismissive. (laughs) He said, no, not interested. It's a money-making venture, and I'm not interested in watching that or being in it. Good luck to them and all that stuff, but it's not like the real thing. Exactly. It's not the real thing because J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay have completely twisted what J.R.R. Tolkien wrote. And it isn't just all of the woke crap that they've put into their series. It's how much they have just completely bastardized what Tolkien actually wrote about the Second Age. Because they don't have access to it. They can't legally include that. But instead of just leaving that part alone that they can't talk about, they're coming up with their own bizarre reasons for why things happen that completely contradict what Tolkien wrote. And that's one of the things that really pisses me off. And I'm not alone. It's apparently pissing off Bernard Hill. He must be a fan of J.R.R. Tolkien. I mean, Tolkien fans do not like the Lord of the Rings or Rings of Power. And as I talked about in one of my more recent videos, not only did J.D. Payne come out and declare that anyone who doesn't like their show as being patently evil, the actors are still running around calling everyone, you know, ists and phobes if they aren't liking the show and not watching it. But yes, I must admit, I must be patently evil, as I have before, because I don't like the Rings of Power, and I have no desire to watch it, and I'm not going to watch it. I don't want to waste my time watching it. Unlike the original Lord of the Rings trilogy or the Hobbit trilogy, the Rings of Power is not based on any specific books by J.R.R. Tolkien. It is an original story that adapts material from the author's complex history of Middle-earth, using events and characters from appendices and works like the Silmarillion. And this article is incorrect by stating that they're taking things from the Silmarillion, which they do not have access to. They only have access to the appendices of the Lord of the Rings. That's all they have access to. 
So the amount of material about the second age that they have access to is minimal. And what they do have, they are twisting it around and bastardizing it to fit it in with this quote unquote original story, which is just a lot of garbage and people aren't interested in it. People don't like their version of Galadriel, who people are calling Guy Ladriel because she's the strong woman Mary Sue of the series. So people are just disgusted with it. And I'm very happy to see that I'm not alone. Anyone who doesn't like the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, you're not alone. Even actors from the original Peter Jackson films don't like it and are not interested in it. So you're not alone. And who knows what Amazon's second season of that crappy show is going to be. There have been various rumors about J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay being sidelined, but nothing official has been said about that yet, though that would be rather entertaining if that happens. But in the end, Amazon's The Rings of Power is just a load of crap. Thanks for watching today. And a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to see more of our videos in the future and help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek. 